everyone's Dave here and welcome to the Vertigo Remastered Overview. So we're finally here and not only because someone requested to do it, but it was in my plans actually to try this game for a long time but just due to the chaos of releases and stuff like that. I just forgot. <laughs> Vertigo is like a perfect mashup of my interests kinda channel wise because I'm known to do adventure games in general and this game is like a perfect example of mashing up all the different genres that I will be ultimately interested in doing a playthrough. This title is actually a remastered version of the previous game that I think it released like few years ago but now it's like a refreshed version for like new headsets and new technology that we have here currently. Vertigo is a physics based adventure shooter horror puzzle mashup of like everything. It's been done according to my research by just like one person and then I looked at the team and maybe it's like two other that is responsible for like art and design stuff like that. But like one guy imagine creating this game is actually crazy to me. Apparently he is involved with Valve stuff as well with Knuckles controllers to the index like the guy from what I saw even in Vertigo is so insanely talented that it's kinda almost a crime that I did not try this game earlier. <laughs> Vertigo is very unique in its own way. Some say it might be like a tech demo for physics, some is just like you know a common shooter with cutesy art style and music, but to me it's something that I feel like was too early released for its own good. Because even currently to me this game holds up to the current standards of VR with the old mechanics just the design and gameplay. It's so impressive. I'm gonna do a playthrough on that hands down simply because because it is perfectly aligned with my interests and it's just exciting to play you know. If it's even possible the development should be focused on the quest released as well I feel like because the game really deserves that. The exposure that you won't really get on the PC VR side anymore because just quest is dominating the space. So if Vertigo one day releases on standalone it will be insanely fun. Nevertheless we'll be playing more of it. I don't know when because there's just so much shit happening with recent releases and playthroughs that I have still piling up as a pending project. It's a lot for one person, but now that I've tried it, we're gonna return it eventually. We'll see. Here's the gameplay. I'm actually very curious if this game even becomes like my next playthrough because I planned to play this game before anyways. Uh, what is this in the background walking? Excuse me? Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> this game seemed very compelling for me before. It's just that I think like there wasn't really a good occasion to play this and it was before the remastered version even appeared. But I'm definitely interested now. If we are here, let's just do it. <laughs> Orientation head, jumping, yeah. Comfort, foveated redirection. Oh, turning smooth, gameplay, captions, of course. Yeah, everything seems fine, so let's go. I think it has some Half-Life vibes, Portal vibes. Never played Portal, it's hard to tell. I'm just curious because it seems like a staple game in VR industry. So I'm definitely curious, what is it about? But so far from the style, it's very unique from the animations and stuff like that. Oh, don't run over me. Okay. It reminds me of Hellblade, this, you know, cinematic story. It's into the, but it's... Oh, oh we're actually that person, okay. Hmm, we're in the mountains. in the valley, so I assume you'll get this message once you get some altitude closer to my cabin. Uh, you know, oh, wow, physics. Dude. Stuff, but there's an, uh, even more oh, shit. <laughs> Not quite sure what you expect to find up there, but there's clearly something going on. Oh, I have a phone here. Just try to be careful. Oh, I stocked a bunch of firewood last time I was up there. Light a fire so you don't freeze to death. Call me if you find anything, okay? Freeze? Okay. It's like summer, man. <laughs> it seems high production. So far I'm pretty impressed, but like, what do I do? Do I just fire the wood? Whoa, that works! Hey, this game might be legit. I, I guess we're going to sleep. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, damn. Um, I think I have to go. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is coming. <laughs> Can I leave? Oh, um, mm, that does not seem good at all. <laughs> Shit, it's coming. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? Space and continuum. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, don't touch me. 
Oh! I think that's mine. Oh, okay, thank you. So... Oh, and you're just gonna fly back. <laughs> of course. Ben? <laughs> what the hell you... Oh! Wow, are we in a psychiatric ward? Is it my destiny? <laughs> What's that? Space time manipulator. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um. Um, good party. Okay. Oh shit, man. Recording. Recording. Space time manipulator devlog 233. The date is October 18th, 2015. They moved evac to next week, so I've had to accelerate testing. I've been refining the exotic fields in the bulb, though, and the simulations say it's stable enough for human trials. Should be perfectly safe, so <laughs> long as I don't teleport into a wall or something. Still reliant on the reactor's quantum juice. So the more of that I can get my hands on, the better. All right. Here goes nothing. Ah, oh my okay. It's not safe in your hands, man. Give me this. What the hell? I guess we're teleporting with that. I'm assuming. Whoa. Ah, okay. This is the exact same mechanic that I saw in Budget Cuts 2, I think. I've tried it like once. We click. And basically to teleport it, you have to touch yourself with it. <laughs> Seems weird, but that's how it works, okay? Ah. Here we go. Just got moved again, probably to throw up the feds trying to locate me. Inconvenient of course, but not as inconvenient as prison. Damn, everything is like interactable. This is so impressive. Oh she <laughs> Brian! Oh, it was an upgrade. Teleport right. What the hell? We have a whole upgrade system. Shot speed, teleport speed. What the? What the okay. It's a full on adventure. Do I have to click on it? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Everything is so sudden here. Oh! Fucking hell! Brian, they gave me the wrong room. Sorry, we had a no show at evacuation, and it's my job to locate employees. They said this guy was last locked being in this lab, but I couldn't get in, so I've been waiting here for... Oh, it's been 450 <laughs> days now. I suppose it's a bit late for him to evac at this point. Speaking of, uh, evacuation, why are you here? I wanna know that too. Are a nightmare these days. Way too dangerous for human workers. Here, let me check your credentials. N no disrespect intended, just protocol after all. Oh. Oh, cripes. You're not an employee. You're an alien from an exoproximal, aren't you? Listen, I'm unarmed. Please don't kill me. Do they have the concept of mercy in your universe? Just stay calm, okay? Oh. Hey! No, 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 no. Don't call security. I need a pistol to survive here. Why am I an alien here? Ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> well, at least I have this thing to escape or whatever. But I would feel much safer with a gun. Now, don't shoot me. Well, at least I... Oh, I can dodge. Now. Just, no, just, uh, get out from my way, <laughs> get out, <laughs> bad, okay, I have to go, <laughs> so cute though, I think I can teleport there though, <laughs> let's go, haha, <laughs> sucker, no, 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 don't come here, uh, just, ha, uh oh, oh, he did not give up, so, get out, hmm, I want a, a pistol. Hello? Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I am. What is the sound? Let me go other way. Oh, something's brewing here. Oh, upgrade. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't see this. Hey! No! Can I deflect the bullets? Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, more of them. Don't touch me. I mean, I can't just stand here. Okay, no. <laughs> Go back from your came. Holy shit, the combat's so smooth. 
Well, now which way? Oh, wait. Yeah, let's do that. Yes. Okay, I'm getting a hang of it. See, this is like exactly the mechanics of kinda Half of Alex, but this game isn't very new. So I'm very surprised that I have like kinda up-to-date mechanics. What's happening here? <laughs> huh. Oh, no. Uh-oh, what the hell? Um, excuse me, you both don't belong here. No. You know, two. <laughs> Don't jump on me. <laughs> Nasty. So now I have both sides as enemies. I mean, they don't really attack me. Oh, so cute. Will you attack me? Okay, I won't attack you then. What is even happening? Wait, I hear something flying here. Hello? Good afternoon, employees. A wise man once said that you must suffer in pursuit of science. <gasps> Please stop submitting my. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get out. Ugh, nasty. Okay. I mean, sure. This is all physics based, so like... Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> For me, it's like the first time to actually kind of play the game with full kind of physics in a full scale of it. Because I've played Boneworks, but Boneworks for me wasn't really a game that you would play. It was just to kind of test things out. For me personally. It's kind of fresh to play something a little bit challenging, I would say. Mm, teleport here. Wait, I forgot that you can like see if there's something, like the enemies on the side when you teleport. That will be handy. Eh. Uh. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, no. Yes, Clive. No sharks, please. I don't like those sounds though. What the <laughs> Hello? Mm, squeeze it! <laughs> Where are you even going? <laughs> Is there danger? What? Well, okay, well... Um, what? <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna take other route. Because this is a labyrinth. <laughs> here. Oh shit, I was here. Mm, I have to go there, I guess. Oh! Well, I didn't even thought about that. <laughs> I'm so used to like, you know, standard mechanics that I didn't even think about just breaking the wall and just like entering. It only shows you how simplified VR is nowadays. I guess we're taking the elevator. This is lovely. Please the surface. I don't want to be in any underground ever. I've had it way too much with Half-Life. Oh, god damn it. Really? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> well, we're going by foot, that's for sure. And there. This is good enough for me for like the overview. That is so like impressive. Honestly, I'm keen to play through the whole game. It is something that's pretty new to me, even though this game has been around because I've never played like an adventure action game, but in full physics style. Definitely enjoying that. It's very impressive actually for something that released like a couple years ago, not mentioning the Master World version. Like I can even see this on Quest or something if it would be impossible, you know. What about the Sandbox DLC? What's that? Oh, I have to buy it maybe not now definitely interested in what's going on with the story as well we're just basically thrown out between some conflict with robots and aliens i don't know it's very confusing but very interesting at the same time so we'll come back to this game one day for now we'll focus on other stuff but that's pretty good